Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I am hoping that all of you are doing great. And I'm sending out as many high love vibrations as I'm capable of as one human being. I hope that all of you are sharing them as well. We need to get that vibration, that energy going. And I know that more this morning, this afternoon, than I ever have. I want to share with you something. There is a video that was just put out by uh, Mark C. 1234 Golf. The title of the video is Geoengineering Ireland Hay Situation alienation be the change you want to see I'm gonna put the link down below for this video I did request that she put a remix on it I think it is more than important or imperative that this vi this video go viral I really sincerely do. You know, friends, I'm going to back what she says. You hear me talk about the universal creator. I certainly, certainly, with every ounce of blood in my body, believe in the universal creator or whom we call God. I certainly do. I've seen the works. I've had experiences in my life that, that I cannot deny there was a force, an energy, a love power beyond anything mortal that jumped in and helped in different situations in my life. We are all faced right now with a situation that we need that universal energy, that love, that force beyond all knowing to jump in and help. You know, this morning when we got up, we had great plans for today. The sky was just as blue as it could be. The sun was shining, the birds were warbling, they were pecking around in our yards front and back, picking up worms, picking up seeds. And I watched. I watched as they danced between the sunlight and the shadows. And I praised the Universal Creator for the sunshine. I think somebody heard me. Because in no time, we were blanketed, completely blanketed. It started out with one X in the sky. And then there was a really odd X. It not, not just had two lines that interconnected into an X, but it had another one that went through. So it had the X and then a line going through the X and then we, we sat on the deck and watched as another jet came and put yet again another straight line. So we had the X, a straight line, and a straight line. You can't see our blue sky now. You most certainly cannot. It is completely whited out. It's sad. You know, on my channel, in my videos, I talk to people about staying positive. And we can. We most certainly can. It's not easy. I know in our property, just in the property that we live on, that things are not right. The color of the leaves are not right. 
the up and down with our temperatures is not right. This is not a normal spring, not in any way, shape, or form. I know that the trees are unhappy, that plants are dying. It's not right. And there are a lot of people that just do not believe that geoengineering has anything to do with this. But I have to ask you, does your sky look normal to you? Think back. If you have to, get old books. Get old magazines. Go to your National Geographics, your old ones, and look at the pictures of the sky. Then look up at your sky and tell me it's normal. It's not. Go online and research. Oh, you're going to find research that says this is perfectly normal. This is not going to hurt you. Eugenics is involved in all of this, and I know it is. I certainly do. Why would things be dying? Why would so many people be ill? Go to the, the center of disease and look at their statistics for the growth rate of illness. Look at what's happening to respiratory problems. You know, I'm not going to keep hammering on this because so many of you just don't get it. So many of you people do not believe what I'm telling you. And I don't blame you. This is way out of our normal. This is way out of anything that we could even drum up. We don't have evil minds. Even the people that come on here and troll and are nasty mouth, they don't have evil minds. They think they're really standing up for something that is true. We believe that we're standing up for something that is true. The proof, the dividing line, the common denominator is in the sky above you. And look at the color of the trees. Look at the trees that are dying. Just look. Something's wrong. Mark C. 1234 Golf. God, I love her. I adore her. She sees it. She feels it. She knows it. People are waking up. We're having dreams. We're getting messages when we look around and see things. Our instinct is kicking in. It's waking up. But it's only going to work if we listen. We must listen. I'm going to quote her for just a moment. She says, It's a spiritual war we are going through. War on all fronts. How do you manage to keep positive vibration? How do you manage to get... How do you manage not to get pulled down into this abyssal of sheer terror? and panic. Boy, she's right. You know, for generations, generations and generations and generations, we have been fed garbage for breakfast, lunch, and supper. We have been deceived. We've been lied to. And the truth has been in front of us all the time. It's been right in front of us. Free will. Free will. We are creators. We have a free will that was given to us, a gift from the universal creator, a gift. We were designed in their likeness. Go to your Bible, look it up in Genesis, in our likeness. Look it up. We are creators. We have got to stand together. And we need to put a stop to this geoengineering. But the only way that we can do that is for people to recognize that it actually does exist. 
that it actually is bad for each and every one of us. This is a horrible thing. They are killing through their weather manipulation, or so they call it. They are killing our crops. If, if, they're, if they're able to manipulate the weather, if these lines up in the sky is, in fact, as they claim, weather manipulation, if this is seeding the clouds, which you better go look that up. Seeding the clouds and what's happening are two different things. They're not the same. This is an advancement on seeding the clouds, far advanced. And it's horrible. It is bad. It is poison. It's a toxic brew that comes down. It's a fallout. And it is destroying life forms on earth. And friends, you better believe that the human being is a life form also. So if it's killing the trees, and it's killing the bees, and it's killing the plants, and it's killing the grasses, and it's killing the soil, and it's polluting the waters, dear God in heaven, what do you think it's doing to you? To your children, to your pets, do you think that each time you take a breath, you are not inhaling these poisons? Do you think that when you drink water, you are not ingesting the toxic brew from the fallout that has gone into that water? Wake up. As creators, we can fix this problem, but we have to all join together. We have all got to recognize, number one, that this is a serious problem against humanity. We have to understand what eugenics are. We have to understand what the Georgia Guidestones are. We have to understand where they come from. We have to understand what our government is doing. Why are they flooding some areas? Why are they having snowstorms on May 1st? Why are they causing droughts? In other areas, their weather modification uh, certainly is not working. Are we not just an experiment for them? If they were able to manipulate weather, why would there be a drought through the biggest agriculture belt in the United States? Why would all the crops die like they did last year? And do you think they're going to grow this year? Not at all. Texas is in trouble many other states. I can tell you on our property, we're in trouble. We've got our greenhouse. We're building a second one. And if we have to, we'll, we'll build a third one. We will get plants growing. Stay away from the GMOs. Go to heirloom. Do not, do not have anything to do with GMOs. Proven fact, tumors and rats, tumors and mice, but they want you to eat it. Why? You think you're exempt? You think you're excluded? Do you think when you ingest that GMO food that it's not going to cause tumors in you or your children? Look your child in the face and explain to them why you're feeding them man-made poison. It is time for us to get our heads out of our rears, friends, and start working together. We have got to unite in spirit. It is a spiritual war. We've got to start, stop arguing about it and debating it. It's a fact. Look up. It's there, right in your face. Look up and then send your energy where it needs to be. We need to get our energies together. We are powerful beings. The human being is a very powerful being. It starts with love for one another. Why in Somalia, Simo um, Somalia, oh, I can't even say it, S-O-M-A-L-I-A, -A. why is there a famine that children are under? Why, why has it killed 
133,000 children under the age of five. Why is there a famine? We let them geoengineer the food, the sky, the weather. They create droughts, they create storms, they create earthquakes with harp, they create all these things that we allow. And these things are used to kill 133,000 children under the age of five. Nairobi, Kenya. A decision by extremist Islamic militants to ban delivery of food aid and normalization of crisis that numbed international donors to unfolding disaster made South Central Som Somalia, Somalia a most dangerous place in the world to be a child in two 2011. A famine that we allowed. You know, they, they're blaming this on extreme Islamic militants. But I'm going to tell you something, friends. That's BS. Absolute BS. This, these children in Africa have been dying for a long time. We know that 6.5 million people in South Central Samoa have been starving to death. We know that. We need those crops. We need our agriculture to grow. We need things to work the way they're supposed to work, and we are the change. We have got to be, as she says so eloquently, geoengineering Ireland, hey situation, H-A-Y, hey situation. Be the change you want to see. Friends, I'm begging you from every ounce of love in my system. Look up, grab old magazines, old books. National Geographic would be fantastic because you're going to see it, or an old travel magazine. Look at the skies. Look at your sky today. Tell me that is normal. Tell me that what's going on is okay. Look at the plants around you. Look at the color of the trees. Look at the top of the trees. Look at the soil. Look at the grass. Look at your plants. Look at your flowers. Read about the bees. We have to be the change. And in order to do that, we have got to unite and share this same common denominator. Love for Mother Earth and love for each other. We have got to will this change. Let's use our free will, the gift that was given to us by our universal creator, God. Use our free will to will this to stop to bring Mother Earth back to natural, or we won't survive. She said very clearly, and I so agree. What time is it, friends? It's 5 to 12. It's 5 to 12. We need not panic. We need to change. We need to accept and see reality for what it is. Join me. Join her and many, many others. Prepare 
on the path that it's on now, there will be people dying of famine and starving in the United States if we do not get this change going. I love you all. Great big hugs. We are not any different than any other people. If they can't survive starvation, neither can we. Catch you guys later.